Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will be seeing how to install a XAM server on a Windows 11 operating system. In order to install XAM server, first thing that we need to do is that we need to download a XAM server software and we need to install it. So to download XAM server software, what we need to do is that we have to click on that browser then we have to search for XAM download and then we will be selecting this first, first option which has been provided to us like apache frames.org link so we will be clicking on this link so on clicking on this link we will be provided a software that we can download for windows linux os x we are downloading for windows in windows also we are being provided with the three options like according to the php version that we are being provided with this option like php version 7.4 is there 8.0.23 is there then 8.1.10 is there so according to our requirement we will be selecting the download so now we will be selecting the latest version of php so we will be selecting on this download 64 bit option so on clicking on this download button our download will be getting ready and now you can see that our download is been started so we will wait for the file to get download and then we will be starting with the installation okay now we can see that on our left bottom our complete software got downloaded we got this exe file in order to install xam software we need to click on this exe file So on clicking the exe, uh, exe file, we will be uh, getting this pop-up message. It will say that, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? So what we have to do is that, we have to click on this yes button. So after clicking on that S button, we will be getting this warning message. It is saying that important uh, because an activated user account control (UAC) on your system, some functions of XAMPP are possibly restricted. With UAC, please avoid to install XAMPP to see program files. So what we need to do is that we have to ignore this message and we have to say ok over it so on clicking ok we will be provided with this setup window and we need to click on this next button to start with the installation so after clicking on this next button we will be provided with a list of the components which are been provided in a xam software so mysql is there filezilla which is an ftp server Mercury mail server is there, Tomcat, Perl, language, then PHP my admin, web alizer, fake uh, send mail. These components are available to us. As per your requirement, you will be clicking on that particular component that you require. I want all the components. So what I'll be doing, I will simply click on this next button. On clicking the next button, it will uh, say that where the location where you want the XAM folder to be created. So I I will be keeping which is a default location which has been mentioned over there that uh, C XAM. Then I'll be clicking on this next button. So on, on clicking on this next button, we have to select a language. So in this case, I'll be selecting English language and I'll be selecting next button over here. So on clicking next button, now the installation will get started. 
So now our installation is been started. Now it is almost done. XAM stands for uh, X means cross platform operating system, A for Apache server, A for Apache server, then M for MySQL, P for PHP, and last P is for Perl. Okay, so now our XAM software is been installed. After installation, we are getting this last screen where it is saying that now you want to start with the control panel. So, if you don't want to start the control panel, you have simply what you have to do is that you have to uncheck this particular option and click on this finish button. I want the control panel to be open, so I am clicking in this on this uh, finish button so when you will click on this finish button a XAM control panel will be open so we can also open the XAM control panel with the symbol which has been provided to us on a status bar on clicking this a XAM will get open if you want to open it by searching it you will be getting this option like a uh, XAM control panel so we can click and open the XAM control panel so first software in a package which has been provided to us is that Apache server so on clicking the start button we are starting with an Apache server so Apache server as you can see that the start button is now turned to stop button which means that apache server got started and over here also we can see that the status detected running so it suggests that our apache server is running and we will be provided with this PID. PID is what process id so uh, if there is some error and we want to manually end the process that can also be ended through this PID. Then after the software got started, we are being provided with this port number. So these are the <coughs> so these are, these are the default port numbers which are being provided to us when Apache server got started. 80 is for HTTP, 443 is for HTTPS. If you want to change the port number, we can also change the port number if you want because uh, when we use the default port, port number it is likely that uh, it may get hacked by an hacker so it is a good practice when we are deploying on a web server we will change the port number and then we will deploy the application so it may also happen that uh, you are using this port number in some other application and uh, you are not being have you are not getting this port number available over here so you have to change the port number to some another port number so i will also be showing you how to change the port number if 80 or 443 port number is not available to us okay We will also be provided with this option like admin config for configuration logs to check on the logs like some error is coming and we want to track down the errors and we need to solve that error. So that we will be getting it from a log so that can be checked out and uh, we can also click on this MySQL option 
uh, to start a database. So we have to say allow access or error and it will be started. So now we have started the Apache server. Now we need to check uh, whether it has been started or not. So it can be checked by clicking on this admin option also. On clicking this admin option, uh, we can see in a browser like localhost data dashboard and you will be getting this screen. So that means that our uh, Apache server is running properly and even if you want to check personally, we will go to a browser and we will only sell local host on clicking a local host we will be provided with the same screen that is what local host slash data dashboard so it means that our uh, apache server is running properly and we will be getting all the information which is there related to xam then uh, if you want to check uh, like uh, what all PHP information is there that we can check it from this particular option like what all uh, PHP properties which have been set server port number, HTTP, HTTP request information, header information so we can check it from this particular option and uh, if you want to start down the database there is uh, here is this option like PHP my admin on clicking that PHP my admin we will be opening the database server that is what PHP my admin we can create a database over here and we can manage the database from this control panel option which has been provided to us PHP my, my admin can also be accessed with this admin button which has been provided to us over here okay and you can also open the same window with this particular by writing this command like localhost and php my oh, sorry. So you can start with this particular option. Okay. Now the next thing is that uh, if uh, whatever the port number, which is what the default port number, like 80 or 443, on which a Apache server is running, which is being utilized by some other software. So what we can do it? How we can solve that error, or how we can allocate the different port numbers? Uh, for this Apache server so what we need to do is that first we need to check uh, what all port numbers are currently been uh, utilized so it can be checked with this netstat option which has been provided so you can see that the 80 port number is there and uh, this particular PID and is what's HTTP so this particular uh, Apache server and this PID means what we are using this particular port number 80 so our XAM control uh, XAM is using this 80 port number no other uh, application is using this port number in order to change the port number in uh, XAM what we need to do is that what we will be going to this we will be going to this config option and in that config option we will be clicking on this first option which has been provided to us that is what httpd httpd.conf file on clicking that we will be searching for we will say control f and we will be searching for listen ok so after seeing this listen we can see that this is the port number which has been allotted so if we want we can change the port number over here like 8080 80 I am making and we will be saying save over ok we will be clicking then what we need to do is that we need to 
restart our Apache server again and then we have to click on this admin panel so now we can see that it can't be reached because it is now it is not working on 80 port number it is working on 80 80 port number so for that we have to mention it like colon and we have to say 80 80 so on clicking now we will be getting the same dashboard which has been provided to us earlier so now our apache server will run on 80 80 port number it will not run on the 80 port number is it clear i hope this video was helpful for you for more such videos please stay connected with us thank you